How long have you been rapping? Um, I've been rapping for about a good 10, 11 years. And five, like okay, so rapping since 15, oh. going hard since 15. Yes. Tell me what, what moment kind of really made you decide that this is what I want to do and this is where I want to put my passion. Um, really just with the support I have from my fans and my family and the support that everybody gives me, it helps me, you know, to just go hard at what I'm doing and to keep doing it in a positive way. What kind of rap do you do? I hear you kind of have everything from gospel <laughs> to uh, R&B, everything. Really, my music, it's not really labeled in one category. I just basically, whatever I feel and that's on my heart, if it's I'm feeling the Lord and I'm feeling like everybody needs to hear that message, then that's what I'm going to rap about. Um, that's basically just how, you know, I do whatever comes from the heart with my music. And you grew up here in North Omaha? Yes. Okay. So tell me, what was that like? Uh, it was cool. It was okay. You know, I had uh, good grades and everything was cool. But when I got a little older, everything just started getting a little rocky. I had um, friends I grew up with passing away and just a lot of things just starting to change. Like, I, you know, just woke up into reality one day <laughs> and I was grown and I really got to see what I basically was, what was hidden from me and... when I was a kid. Am I right in, in saying that you had some, some tough times yourself going through? Yes, yes. Tell I, me about that. Um, well, you know, I, I was in and out of jail a couple of times, and it basically just woke me up because I didn't really like people telling me what to do. So, you know, it's just basically I wanted to be out here doing my music, and people in there was telling me, you are so talented, you can do it. And it's like I've already been hearing this so, many, so much, you know, so it's just like i got to wake up and do it on my own. And I just realized that I really do love music. And your latest song is about or, or for your mom, is that right? Yes, yes. Tell me about that. Um, sorry, Mama. Uh, I actually made it the first day that I was out of jail. I was just listening to a song and the beat, and I just was listening to it. And for some reason, it just kept saying sorry, Mama, to me. And that's how I felt at that time. So that's how I came out with it and everything that I felt. I just wrote it down, and when I presented it to my mom, we both cried, and it was just wonderful. And a lot of parents say that they can feel where I was coming from. What does it mean to have her here in the studio watching you cheering you on? Yeah, it was, it was, mom always cheered me on. She always supportive of everything. I remember those better days when kids used to could go out and play, but not no more, because the drive-by is every day. So many innocent lives been taken away, so I just get up on my knees and pray. And as I sit and listen, I hear so many mamas cry. So many funerals, so many of my homies die. So many different guns, so many of their bullets fly. Won't even talk it over, just quick to take somebody's life. I know that it's a lot of things that we go through. Cause I was stupid and try to claim a gang too. But I figure that ain't how I want to live my life now. That just ain't something that I want to do. Cause I'd rather be a rapper or maybe a nurse. Not 25 up in a hearse. Cause it's more than what I think that my life is worth. And to it feels like... Like I'm about to burst. So many kids complaining, but it's kids that got it worse. So many people feeling like their life is cursed. But dog, we gotta start thinking instead of reacting first. So ask yourself, is everything really okay? Cause every night I pray hoping for a better day. And right now, I need everybody to stand up. Midwest, stand up. Omaha, Nebraska, stand up. I see you. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm confident cause I'm destined for greatness TV here I come and I ain't even got a fake death Just throw a beat on in 15 and watch me lace it From Omaha, Nebraska City of the great shift, city of the bravest, home of the heartless, cream of the crop, the home of the heartless, they creep with them blocks, the home of the starving, when will it stop, who knows, cause we so far in, and sometimes I let the streets get the best, that's just like a little bit of part, you know what I mean, a seven minute, you know, the little freestyle, that I got going on, okay, okay, my left about to cut off too though,